here's Jeff Foxworthy. Thank you. Uh, I really have nothing left to talk about. I was backstage watching the guy before me, and my act's kind of down the toilet at this point. It's, uh, it's, oh, they're free shorts right there. The, the guy's looking at him like, hey, these might fit. And it's, uh, Hi, how you doing tonight? Let me start off by telling you, this is my real voice. You're not having a hee-haw flashback. This is the way I really talk. I am from Atlanta, Georgia. I don't live there now. I, uh, I moved to L.A. a couple of years ago, and uh, I, I never thought I would leave the South, but I, I started doing a little TV and getting on the air, and then my kinfolk said, Jeff, move away from there. And <laughs> can't believe you laughed at that, honestly. <laughs> what can I tell you is going on with me? I just found out two months ago I'm going to be a father for the first time. I'm really excited about that. Thank you. When my wife finds out, she's going to kick my ass, I swear. <laughs> now, she knows, believe me, she is going through some physical changes. Now, she is wearing the bra from a Camaro now. You know? <laughs> Not just for the support, but it keeps the bugs off her blouse. It's, uh, yeah. I've been married about six years. I love my wife to death. I like women a lot. And I, I don't know a whole lot about you girls. I, I seem to know little things, things like... Um, like, I know if you give a woman a little basket of seashells, they're going to put them on the back of the toilet. I do know that. I don't know why, but that's where they go. They go on the back of the toilet. You never see a toilet on the beach, but you will see a beach on the toilet. And if they don't have real seashells, they buy the fake soap ones, but you're not supposed to wash your hands with them. This past January, I drove cross country with my wife. I learned something on that trip. A woman's job on a long trip in the car is to sleep and control the heat and air conditioning. <laughs> Every time I try to sneak the window down, she wakes up and goes, roll that up, I'm cold. It's like, why don't you hold a pan of muffins so we'll have something to eat when we get there? <laughs> Five days of Hurley saw her. She was buried under all these jackets and blankets. Once a day, I'd hear her voice, where are we? We're in hell. That's where we are. We're in hell. Just crossed the river sticks two miles ago. Now, the only fun I had on the whole trip was knowing everybody that passed our car on the right-hand side was laughing their ass off at her doing that open-mouth jello neck head bob. <laughs> They're laughing at you, and you don't even know it. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, you need a woman on a long trip in the car. You need them. Because they always have food hidden away and they can keep you alive. <laughs> well, see, men don't want to stop for food. Men don't want to stop for anything. Because men want to be able to get there, to walk in the front door and go, made it in five hours, 18 minutes. <laughs> Three minutes faster than last year. Didn't even stop for gas. Pulled up behind a tanker truck. We hooked up with him. Had the kids pee out the window, and here we come, buddy. <laughs> like a lot of women, she takes a long time getting ready. But, but she's smarter than I am, so no matter how late she is, she can keep me right there on her schedule. This is her best trick right here. <laughs> You're not wearing that, are you? <laughs> no, I ain't wearing this just what I'm wearing while you're getting ready. <laughs> and being a man, we have no idea what's wrong with it. We try on everything we got. What about this, a sweater and a bathing suit? What do you think about that, huh? I got more, hold on, I'll be back. It amazes me, as little as men know about fashion, girls, you still ask our opinion about stuff. <laughs> My wife would say something like, honey, which earrings do you like better, the white ones or the black ones? Oh, hell, I got a 50-50 shot at this. <laughs> I'll say the white ones. The white ones now have got to change this blouse. No! <laughs> Never leaving this house. Crap, I got to shave again. <laughs> when we're men, we just don't care as much about how we look. You never see a guy picking up his buddy to go fishing at 5 o'clock in the morning going, 
Damn, Bill, you ain't gonna wear that shirt with them shoes, are you? It's after Labor Day for crying out loud. She worries about stuff. She has things in that bathroom, the vault, I call it. <laughs> because the door's always shut and whatever goes on in there costs a load of money. <laughs> I snuck in one. She has things on one shelf for dry skin, oily skin, chap skin, combination skin. Have you ever known a man with combination skin? I mean, let's say somewhere out on the construction site. <laughs> hey, Donnie! Drop the hammer, come in a trailer. Now, Donnie, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, <laughs> but you have dry cheekbones and a greasy forehead. <laughs> it's combination skin, Don. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say anything, but the men been laughing at you and <laughs> calling you Mr. Flaky Face. Same thing with smell. She asked me every day, do I smell good? Like the way I smell? <laughs> See, because if men have an odor, it's usually an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, what is that alluring fragrance? <laughs> oh, that's Michelob. I hit a bump in a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Both sexes care about smell. They do, but women will go to trouble to smell good, and, and men are more like, Hey, does this stink too bad to wear one more time? <laughs> Maybe I should put it in the dryer. <laughs> I think women feel a sneeze coming on. Every time before my wife sneezes, she reaches in her purse, pulls out a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> See, men have no idea we're going to sneeze. We could be riding a bus somewhere and be like, doo -doo 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 -doo. What? Yeah. Oh man, I'm sorry about your shirt. <laughs> you can put that in the dryer, that'll be all right. Yeah. God bless you, take care of yourself. I was in the airport, those treadmills they've got are huge. <laughs> because Americans are always saying things that there's not that much proof for. You hear us say things like, uh, we're number one! <laughs>